What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I got some new news concerning Deontay Wilder. You know, I guess he must have heard me. Um, where has he been? He has made a statement. <clears throat> now get this, guys. The Bronze Bomber has made a statement. He says Joshua skipped the Fury fight to avoid hard questions. He also went on to say it's a shame that Anthony Joshua didn't come over here and make his presence known to the American audience. If Joshua really wanted to fight me, why wouldn't he come to my fight and try to fight the winner next? Why would Anthony Joshua go to a non-heavyweight fight? But two weeks earlier, you couldn't come to the biggest heavyweight championship in the world. Let me stop there. I got a counterpunch, right? Okay. Why would Anthony Joshua go to your fight? You had enough hype between you and Fury, first of all. And... If you can criticize Anthony Joshua, I get that, you know, you can make an argument with that, right? Like, well, hey, you, you look like you could show your face if you were interested in getting a fight with me. You know, that would be a fight that you would want to see. OK, well, obviously he didn't. Right. Well, the same goes for you, too, Mr. Deontay. We got to look at both sides. You were hired by Sky Sports at the Prevectin fight to be in commentator. So not only did you, you were just going to go because that was your potential fight, right? That was the fight that was very much on the table still, right? <clears throat> and you didn't go because of what? Because you couldn't get in the ring? You were still there. You could have seen him anywhere in the lobby, at a hotel, you know, anywhere. You would have saw him eventually because you guys can't, you know, two guys of that much interest together will see each other. And you decided not to go at all. So that to me would have been the most logical thing for you to do, but you didn't do it. So you can you can criticize Anthony Joshua for not coming to your fight. He didn't want to get free press. I know what that was because he's already accused you of using his name and piggybacking off his name to raise your profile. And it looks like that's true. Right. And why would he go to a non heavyweight fight? OK, it's a DAZN fight. One of the best fighters in the world, one of the highest paid fighters in the world was fighting on that on that card. That's Canelo Alvarez. That's his boy. That's his DAZN stablemate. Yes, he's going to support DAZN stuff because he's a DAZN fighter. You see what I'm saying? So that answers your question. You know, he said, well, you know, wouldn't come to the biggest heavyweight championship fight in the world. Who says it's the biggest heavyweight championship of the world? You again, you're talking to the other champion. That's his, that's his opinion. That's Deontay's opinion. You know, Anthony Joshua might not see that in that way because everyone had doubts when this fight coming in. They didn't know if this was going to be a good fight or whatever. It might be a, been a lackluster, you know, Tyson Fury could have got knocked out earlier or whatever, but he did a damn good job. And like I said, it was a cherry pick that went wrong. It's just the desire and the dedication and the refusal to quit by Tyson Fury that made that fight what it was. And it wasn't Deontay. Okay. Deontay was just that guy looking for one punch. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Wilder was at ringside April 3rd, April 2017 at London's Wembley uh, Stadium. As Joshua stopped the 41-year-old Vladimir Klitschko rising from the deck in the sixth round and scored a knockdown in the 11th. Okay. That was the only time that Deontay Wilder saw, or that was the last time. Let me say that. The last time Deontay Wilder saw Anthony Joshua was that night. Okay. So we all know what happened. There was no call out. There was no, um, there was no word from Deontay Wilder in that man's face. I, I brought that. I mentioned that on the, uh, my previous video, so I don't really need to discuss it. I'm just debunking everything that he's saying, counterpunching it like I know how to do. Um, he said AJ should should a thousand percent be here at Wingside. OK, that's what Ortiz said. He said, I believe that Joshua's saving face and he's scared. I don't think Joshua wants to face his critics and deal with the questions from the public. See, this is what I'm talking about. If there is no Joshua fight, why are we even talking about Joshua? Do you, you guys get what I'm saying? It's all about Deontay talking Joshua, 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 Joshua. Look, 
This is past tense. This, this is what I'm reading. Um, okay, well, if Deontay Wilder is not going to fight Anthony Joshua, it doesn't even make any sense for him to, you know what I mean? Again, um, he could have been to the zone fight. He knew he was there. He knew he would attend that. See, the way, see, this is what I'm talking about, guys. This is kind of similar to the last video that I have. This is just later news because Deontay Wilder has responded, okay? Now, these responses are weak <clears throat> because the same thing you're accusing him of doing, you done. You you turn down a paycheck. You know, those commentators make a little bread, you know, what, five, ten grand to commentate. You see what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't make sense. And then you didn't go because you turned down a gig. So because you wanted to get in the ring like this is some damn wrestling match. Is that what I'm hearing? But then yet he's supposed to show it up at your guy. You guys fight. No, he doesn't have to show up at you guys fight, you know. A lot of people had, again, a lot of people had skepticism all over that fight, you know, but, but he's saying if he really wanted to fight him, he'd be at that fight or whatever, but that's past tense, you know, because it's like, okay, if you, if you still want to fight Joshua, let's get the fight happening, find your pen and let's make this fight happen. But if you don't stop wasting everyone's time, you just made a remark of, uh, to, the public about Joshua and about what once was. You see what I'm saying? Saving face. He, I think he's scared. He's still saying that scared shit, but someone's scared to pick up a pen and sign the contract that was offered to you. Since someone's ducking or scared or whatever, if you would have signed the contract, they had, they had nowhere to run because now it's legally binding. Don't you guys get it? Deontay Wilder never signed anything, never signed anything. Then he wanted to talk about a rematch and all that shit and a rematch clause. Look, don't worry about a rematch clause when you are not the person that has the money. You're not the person that has the lion's share of the money anyway. You're the person that gets offered a deal. You don't offer shit. That $50 million was not yours if it was $50 million anyway. And that was from Frank Warren, by the way. BT Sports. Breach of contract. Joshua couldn't work. He couldn't. He couldn't be on that anyway. They, they give up rights to all this and that. No, that's not a side shit. That's C side shit. OK. And Deontay Wilder is trying to be a side or tried to play a side and was not. He clearly was not, you know. Um, but something has to come of this because Deontay Wilder is just talking a bunch of shit, regurgitating it back over again and not really doing anything. That means anything. He never has when it came to Joshua. He never said, hey, I'll knock the hell, I'll knock Joshua out. Joshua said, I'll knock you out. I can, that, that, that's what I guarantee. I'm going to knock you out, Deontay Wilder. That's what he said. Okay. So, because he has that, he has control of that with his fists. So, Deontay Wilder, if you want to fight, fight. Just don't talk shit. If you're going to fight Fury again, fight Fury, and your ass will probably get beat. You know, and then look, and then who will be who at that point? You know, but anyway, the lucky thing for him is that he didn't get beat. You know, so anyway, you guys tell me what you think about Deontay Wilder's statements. Of course, I'll leave the link in the, um, the description box below so you guys can check it out yourselves. Take a look at it. Of course, guys, please subscribe. And you guys have been counterpunched. Peace.